everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and it's time to show off the newest addition to my Ultra Sabers collection. This is the Prophecy V3. I actually bought this one off eBay a few months back. I think I ended up paying about $28 for it, and then plus shipping, it ended up coming around about $58 after all said and done. You know, because these things are kind of heavy and kind of expensive to mail out. It's uh, just the Ultra Sabers V3 Prophecy, just a standard silver coating with a uh, red blade. I'll install a blade on here in a minute to show you what it looks like with the blade. And I always really liked this kind of saber with a red blade on it because the Prophecy is inspired by Anakin's lightsaber from Episode 2. And those of you who played the Star Wars Episode 3 game for PS2, you know there's an alternate ending where Anakin takes a red lightsaber from uh, the Emperor and kills him with it. And if you look at the model that's used in the game for that lightsaber, it's actually Anakin's Episode 2 lightsaber with a red blade. So it just... I, I like to make a little correlation there, so I think it's kind of funny. Um, if you've watched uh, my other Ultra Sabers videos, you may remember that I actually own a Dark Prophecy as well. This was my first uh, sound lightsaber that I got uh, back in 2014, I think. Yeah, just a uh, standard obsidian sound. I have it here as a comparison piece today because I think that they changed the blueprint on their Prophecy models over the years because you see the little holes right here, they're spread further apart than they are on this one. This one, according to the original seller, they got as part of a grab bag. And I feel like with all the swinging around I've done with this one, it's a little more sturdy on the inside, like the internals don't rattle as much. Like, you hear that? Like, compared to that one? I've always had a little bit of trouble with that. The internals don't always sit where they need to unless I have a blade install on it. Additionally, the place where you would install a Covertech wheel is like, inversed, inverted on, like in between models. Like it's on, you hold them up like this, it's on this side for the Dark Prophecy and it would be on this side for this one. So I think it's just a design change they made, you know, as the years have gone by. I'm okay with having them be different though because to me that gives them kind of a set-like quality to where they are meant to be one's wield in one hand and one in the other, kind of like like, I, I guess kind of like Archer from Fate Stay Night, he wields uh, the white sword in his right hand, the black sword in his left hand, so it's kind of like that, but they both have red blades. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that sound was the uh, retention screw falling out of the prophecy here. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it back up in a sec when I, I install the blades on them. I also wanted to show you what they look like as a staff, because one thing that I kind of noticed was if you put this kind of saber, like, end to end, or if you try to staff them right here. It kind of reminds me of Savage Press's Saber Staff, even though it's not exactly the same, but I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, so I went ahead and installed the Quick Disconnect Coupler on these. I got uh, this one to go with my uh, Ultra Saber's Menace Staff. I haven't actually shown this on camera yet until now, but here's the Silver Quick Disconnect. Uh, uh, there's half of that one. And then here's the uh, Black di uh, Quick Disconnect that I bought years ago for my other lightsabers that I use. So you put them together, and I actually have used this, you know, in a sparring match against Rio before, and it actually is pretty well balanced in terms of weight, and you got plenty of uh, handhold room on both sides. Of course, the Covertech wheel might get in the way depending on where you try to hold it, but that's the beauty of the uh, quick disconnect, being able to rotate like that. So I think that a Prophecy Staff is a beautiful idea. It's not something that I would invest in for a cosplay or something. I wanted to have these as like two separate sabers. Truth be told, I actually got this one because it was just really, really cheap and I wanted to use it for a Star Killer cosplay that I'm working on, the uh, Sith robe version, you know, with the black and red robes, Force Unleashed. So this is gonna be the saber that I use for that. But uh, yeah, I really like Prophecy and I don't regret this purchase at all, especially since I got it for less than 60. Now I'm gonna install the blade and show you how it looks with that. So here they are together. Here is the uh, regular Prophecy, the blade installed. Uh, the lighting in here makes the blade kind of washed out. Let me actually turn the lights off for a second. Okay. That's a little bit better, but uh, not excellent because I'm right next to the window and the sun's coming in. But yeah, I definitely really like the Sabre. It's uh, good to duel with because it's got a good solid foundation, nice deep blade socket, and enough room for two hands. And of course my Dark Prophecy. This was my uh, dueling saber for years, back when I could still duel regularly. But um, the friends I used to practice with just kind of drifted apart as life went on, you know? Adult responsibilities and such. 
One thing that I find kind of interesting about the uh, pommel for the Prop C, this thing is solid. It is like a solid chunk of metal, like all the way through. Funny thing is you can actually like insert it into the bottom here. You like screw it in in the opposite direction right here and you can actually attach another saber to the other end. So I don't recommend doing this if you have sound sabers, but if you wanted to put together two lightsabers that if you want them to sit flush and don't have like the interruption of a coupler, like I said, the, the texture here kind of reminds me of kind of reminds me about Savage Opress's saber staff. You know, he's got the slant emitters on both ends as well. Yeah, you can barely hear that because it's closed off, but that's uh, that's what it looks like if you just use the regular Prophecy pommel as a way to couple them together. I thought it was kind of weird when I got this thing because I actually ordered my Dark Prophecy without a standard Prophecy pommel. I actually ordered the Dark Catalyst pommel instead. Just because I wanted to give it a bit more of a unique look instead of just the sitting flat at the bottom kind of thing. But yeah, I really like this lightsaber and I do plan to get good many years worth of use out of it at cons, uh, you know, for cosplay or just for sparring, dueling in general. Might do some customization on it later. I'm thinking about installing a Covertech wheel if I can actually find the right retention screw to use because I got a couple of those laying around. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, tell me about your favorite lightsabers and favorite lightsaber companies in the comments below. Peace out.